Welcome, welcome back, beautiful people. Tanika Maria here. It is, I think this is week five of our series coming out of a woman's journey home. 14 keys to ascending to the next dimension. If you have not gotten your copy, make sure you go to Amazon and click the link in my bio if you want a signed copy. We are going through this book and I've been having a good time unpacking with you nuggets and precepts from this book. It's um, just so revelatory because even as I, you know, I wrote it a few years ago, but even in going through it, it still touches me because it has to pass through me before I can pass it to you. And so last week we talked about, definitely um, definitely go back and catch that last video, but last week we talked about getting real, being healed from unregulated emotions. We're in chapter three. We're in chapter three of A Woman's Journey Home. And we talked about the importance of, like, you can't go up higher if your emotions are jacked up, discombobulated, and all over the place. You can't sustain a blessing. God will not bless you to, just to kill you with that blessing. Amen? Right? If he puts too much on you and you don't have the emotional stamina, the emotional fortitude, the emotional mastery, the emotional resiliency, you give up too quick, you get bent out of shape too fast, you take stuff too personal, you'll feel some kind of way, you're self-sabotage. All of those negative emotions has, have to be dealt with. And no matter how big your prayer is for it to grow your career, your business idea, your ministry, that book, that idea, or whatever it is God has given inside of you, your desire for marriage, for healthy relationships, all of that rises and falls on your healing. And so that brings us to the next part of chapter three, and then we're going to move right on into chapter four. You're going to have to read it for yourself to really unpack it and get into the meat of it, because I'm not even getting into the reflective questions that are here, right? So you got to really dive into it and work through it in order to get the full value. But today we're going to talk about no more hoarding the hurt, no more hanging on to the hurt, no more hanging on to that hurt. We're coming into 2023 and whatever you had going on, whatever you had going on that made you feel some kind of way, we got to start releasing that now. Don't, don't make no vision boards, review your, review your results, looking at your strategy, your social media, your content, your marketing, and you got hurt hoarded up in your heart. Not going to work. It's not going to work, right? Let's read a little bit from the book. Remember this, pain is a teacher. It comes to pass and not to stay. That pain that you feel, it is to pass through you. It's not to stay, it's not to linger. I'm not to nurse it, rehearse it, and sit in it. The pain comes to pass through, pass through your body, pass through your emotions. Trauma is not supposed to sit in you. It comes to pass. It's supposed to move through you. And unregulated, runaway emotions in a woman is a, and a man is always a sign of unprocessed pain or emotional wounds that need to be dealt with. In Proverbs 18, 14, we clearly read that a wounded spirit is hard to bear. It is not always comfortable to be in a close relationship with someone who is wounded. I can park and land my plane right there. We, you, you're going to need relationships, healthy relationships, mutually synergistic relationships in order to move forward and elevate and come up higher and up leveling your purpose. You, you need a relationship to be to really be loved. You need to be seen, right? You need psychological visibility. You need partnerships. You need covenant. You need alliances. You need all kinds of things to really be the full version of who God called you to be. But a wounded spirit who can bear. You're a wounded emotional heart. You're going to repel every good relationship that God sends your way. It's not comfortable to be in any close, significant, impactful relationship with someone who is wounded and not healing and dealing with that. If you, you know, I, I write here in this book, I write, if you are reading this and deeply desire to be married in the future, yet you have a wounded spirit, it is re a repellent to attracting and sustaining healthy love. If I have a wounded spirit, I'm not going to be able to attract and sustain a healthy relationship. 
Processing and healing is not a quick fix. We want to rush through our healing. We want to rush through our soul work. We want to gloss over it and see, but we're, but we're still kind of hanging on with, we're still hanging on to it. We're hoarding the hurt. We're not really releasing it and fully, fully processing it and fully acknowledging how jacked up what they did was and what they said was feeling that crying through it, being mad through it, whether you need a therapist, a coach, a counselor, whatever, and really sitting in it and then letting that thing go on through you. Just because you cry and fall out doesn't mean you're going to lose control. Some of you need a good cry. Some, some of you need to slap some pillows. Some of you need to cuss. You just need to get it out and quit faking the funk, right? And see, when we hoard the hurt, we are not treating ourselves with compassion and dignity. We're not treating ourselves humanely. Go back and check the first video where I talked about what humane treatment was. It's not for animals. It's treating yourself with humanity, with compassion, with dignity and respect. And you treat yourself with compassion when you acknowledge your pain. You know, we when we hoard the hurt, and I'm reading here from chapter three of the book, definitely uh, grab your copy. When we hoard the hurt, again, we are not treating ourselves with compassion and dignity, but less than a human under the guise, under the guise of being in control and moving on quickly because we don't want to unpack and feel that pain. We try to stay in control with all of our ego and all of our pride, and we're so interested in fronting and stunting for the gram that we don't want people to see. And so we just move on. I mean, uh, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. We just want to keep right on moving. And I heard this quote and I'm going to land it here. This is a short teaching today. Anything swept under the rug is still in your house. Let me say it again. Anything swept under the rug is still in your house. You can sweep that mess of that pain of what happened under the rug all you want to. But it is still sitting right up in your house and your rug is getting puffy. It's a little mountain up under there. We got to clean it up. We got to clean it up. Don't go into 2023 with rug stuff still sweeping it under the rug, the rug of your heart. In other words, if you sweep, let me read from the book and I'm going to wrap this up. If you sweep a big piece of trash under a rug instead of removing, removing it, it's still sitting in your home. It didn't go anywhere. We can't keep sweeping unresolved pain under the rugs of our spiritual and emotional houses and pretend that they don't exist. The emotional piles of pain and hurt still sit there growing bigger and festering into something much bigger than your original problem the longer they are left unattended. We cannot cure what we keep covered. Let me say that one again. We cannot cure what we keep covered. Large gaping emotional wounds cannot be covered with an overly spiritualized band-aid. I can't patch together my healing, but based off of a few inst inspirational quotes and prayers off Instagram, I can't patch together and piece together my healing by scrolling and looking at preachers on YouTube. I can't piece together and patch together some kind of a healing by all of this scrolling and numbing and distracting. I got to sit down. I got to come home. I got to get settled and I got to pay attention to what's going on in the inside. I need a safe place for my heart to land to unpack this. And the safest place is with you and God. And some of you, most of us, I would say 99.9999% of us, we need counseling and we need therapy. And so I highly encourage you to do that. Before you go into 2023 with a thousand plans, with all of these vision boards and all of these words and all of these things written down in your journal, let's journal out some of this unprocessed pain. Let's no longer hoard the hurt. Let's, no, let, let's, let's not keep sweeping stuff under the rug of our hearts and then think we're going to up level and go to the next level because anything swept under the rug is still in your house and you cannot cure what you keep covered. Amen. Amen. If this blessed you, tag somebody, share this. Make sure you turn on your, on your notifications. If you're not following me, subscribe, follow, do what you need to do so that you can stay tuned and connected. And be sure to grab your copy so that you can go along with me 
in this journey. Do not end 2022 without really dealing with this. So I'm Tanika Maria, and I'll be back out here again soon. Take care.